Hello. In this video I want to explain what sidebars and widgets are in WordPress. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard and I'll be able to um, show you what we need to do. Right, on your web page, let's open the web page. On your web page, down the side you can put all sorts of things in your sidebar but how do you get them there? That's the trouble. Right, first of all, you need to have a temp you need to be using a, a template that uses a sidebar. So we'll go to a page that we're using and see if it's got a sidebar. So this is the page we're going to be doing. It's the, going to be the main home page of our website. Now, we're using a theme called 2011. And with 2011, you've got three different types of page template you can choose from. Um, there's the default template which doesn't have a sidebar. We'll just I'll show you what that looks like and then give you a better idea. Let's wait for the server. Taking its time. Oh, there we go. Right. So we'll view the page. Right, now there's no sidebar there side but we can choose a different template that does have a sidebar so all we need to do go back to our where we, where, where we edit the page this is uh, the our page edit page um, and where it says template here it, you can only have these templates in pages not in posts posts work slightly differently so with this is a page and we're having a sidebar so all we need to do is choose a sidebar template and click update excuse me let's <coughs> 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 wait for the server there there we go so we'll go back to our page refresh the page and see if a sidebar has appeared there we go, there's the sidebar. So first of all, the sidebar's got to be turned on. But we then need to put things inside the sidebar. So you need to go to your dashboard over here, click Appearance, Widgets. You'd think there'd be a sidebar button, but there isn't. And that's because really, when, when you're dealing with sidebars, what you're really dealing with is widgets, which are these things here. Right, so we went to Appearance, Widgets, and I've already put these things, the things we can already see in the sidebar are these things here. So there's an image widget, there's this follow widget, which is just a button, this button here, that people can click. Uh, click the button um, and you'll get notifications whenever somebody updates the, the blog that you're on. Suppose I, if I click this one, every time this blog is updated I'd get an email telling me it's updated. This is a list of pages, we can put in the sidebar if we want to. And this is photos from Flickr. Um, this is a list of links. You can make lists of links and then drag them into the sidebar. This is a text widget. Um, and you, if you know HTML, you can write all sorts of code to put in the sidebar yourself. Um, if you don't know HTML, you can still use a text widget to put text in this area. It just won't be formatted nicely like this with big text and uh, like this nested bulleted list and things like that um, but you need to know html if you want to add that or this like colored border um, but you can still add paragraphs here without knowing any html at all and then this is called a let's have a look milestone <laughs> and a milestone widget is just a fun widget to let you put like this one i put there uh, don't miss my birthday party um, but you can put anything in there you want you could put uh, our training day is on Tuesday or whatever and it'll count down the days see it's four days to go because when I did this it's the 12th of February and I've set it to be the 16th when the big day arrives anyway that's the basic idea you drag things into this area via your appearance widgets um, page so I'll just show you what you do let's see what else we could have I don't think we've got any categories. 
I'll drag this one, this meter. Meter, I'll close that first. Meter is the thing like you log in and log out. What you need to know as well, this little button there, if, if the sidebar box here is not open, you can't drag things into it. If I try drag things into, say, this footer area, so all these things work in the same way. The, the sidebar, which is this one, main sidebar, showcase sidebar, and the footer area, one, two, three, all work in the same way. So we drag things in. But if I try to drag something into the footer area, because it's not open, I can't do it. So I would have to press that little button, open it up, and then I can drag things in like that now I don't want to drag that in I'm just showing you but that you've got to it's got to be open before you can drag things into it right let's see where did we get to we'll drag in um, oh this meter Th these are login log out links so just drag that in there um, and some of them you have to put a title in, most of them you don't need to put a title in. We'll just click save and that'll give us a log in and log out buttons. We'll refresh the page to get our up to date view. And here at the bottom, this, that's what we've just dragged in this. Um, it's a ready made list of links to log in, uh, log out, things like that. But that's basically what widgets are. They're, they're little applica applications that you can drag in to your sidebar. So let's just have a look at setting one up. I'm going to show you a really good pay, play, web page that tells you loads of information about all these different widgets. Because I can't tell you about all these different widgets in one video. There's loads of them. Um, let's have a look. I'll just show you the image one. With the image one, what you need to know, if you drag this image from here, so if we there, you just drag it over into this area here. But then once you've dragged it in, you've got to do a little bit of setting up. You need to know the image URL. This is for the image widget. So what we're gonna, this one added this picture here. And I've set that to go to Google when we click it. I'll click the back button. Right, so on our web page, to do that, I use this image widget that I dragged from over here to over here. But then I needed to know, I had to actually put in this by hand, which is the URL of the uh, the image we wanted to use. And the way you get there is, go to your media library, choose the picture you want. This I think this is the one, yeah, that's the one I wanted. It's a, sidebar truck or truck for the sidebar that's the picture i made this picture actually small so it would fit in the sidebar um, but what you need to do you need to open that up and here is the file url and you need to know that this here you need to know that which is this bit copy and paste this from here into our widget into the image widget and we copied it in there pasted it in there um, so that WordPress knows where you want it to go well which image you want to put in there it seems a shame that there's not a button that you could just press and choose uh, which picture but that's the way it is if you want to make it so it's clickable down here you'll see link URL when the, when the image is clicked and you just I went to google.com and I copied the URL and pasted it in there you'll need the full URL with the HTTP and if it's got www dot as well you'll need that and then you just click save and that's basically the idea of how you put site uh, put things into the sidebar but there's just so many widgets um, the best way to find out more information about this is when you log in to WordPress let's see This is the WordPress.com website, WordPress.com. And if you scroll down to the bottom, down here you'll see support. Just look for support and click that link. Then over here we're looking for widgets. So widgets, there we go. If you, um, if you struggle to find that link, the easiest way to do it is 
press Control F, um, you'll get a search box that'll pop up in your web browser. This is, see if I can fit it all on the page. There we go, this is Firefox. Um, and when you press Control F on your keyboard, press the Control button and F button, that find box opens up and we're looking for widgets. There we go, you see it's found it for us. Then just click that. There we go. And now here's a list of all the widgets in WordPress.com. So if you wanted to know about, which one might you be interested in? Let's find one. Let's pretend you wanted to, pretend you've got some images on Flickr and you want to add those images to your website. Just click this one here, this link about Flickr widget. And here's information about it. Tells you what to do. And there's even a little video. So you can watch the video on this is on the wordpress.com support website. But there's just so many widgets. Um, it, this really is the web page you need to go to. And the way you get there is go to wordpress.com, then scroll down there, look for support, and then look for widgets. There we go. And that's the big list of all the widgets. That you that you want to know about, right? I think we're fairly much. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll talk. We're pretty much covered what I want to tell you. But if you put in images in the sidebar or the footer, the footers work in the same way as the sidebars, um, and the footers are down at the bottom of your page. But with your sidebar, the images want to be 187 pixels wide. If they're wider than that. WordPress will shrink it the best it can. Um, and in the sh there's a special sidebar called the Showcase sidebar. And if you use that one, then it's 188 pixels instead of 87. The footers, you can have a one column, two column, or three column footer to your web page. A footer, if you look down at the bottom here, these are footers. So, and on the theme we're using, there's only three columns, not four. So we could have three columns two columns or one wide column at the bottom and if you, if you put things into the footer um, area let's see getting a bit lost there aren't we? Um, excuse me <coughs> pardon me if you put things in the footer area go back to appearance widgets And down here we've got the footer area one, two, three. So if you put things in these boxes here, which are, these really are just like sidebars, but they're at the bottom of the page. Um, so you would need, if you have one column footer, just one footer at sort of item or one footer column, you can put images that are 850 wide. If you've got two columns, you can put images that are four or eight wide and three columns, you can put images that are 262 wide each. So you could have three images in, in one image in each column, 262 uh, pixels wide. Right, well, we're getting a bit close to my um, limit for YouTube, so I'll have to leave it there. If you want to know more, do pop along to using-wordpress.org and there's loads more videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I hope you pop back soon. Bye.